Hi, I'm Randy Wong. I'm a retina specialist located in Fairfax, Virginia in the United States. I'm going to show you how I induce a PVD or, a, or how I create a posterior vitreous detachment in a patient who's having a floater-only vitrectomy. One of the issues of a floater-only vitrectomy is causing tears or damage to the otherwise healthy eye. Removing the vitreous these days with 25 gauge instruments such as these has actually become quite safe. The chance of tears has reduced dramatically compared to the older 20 gauge technology. The first step during a vitrectomy is to remove the core or central vitreous. This is a patient who has not yet had a PVD, and a PVD, by the way, is a naturally occurring event. That is, it should happen to everybody at some point in their life. <clears throat> what I'm doing here is removing most of the uh, central or core vitreous, and at issue is how do I move, remove, or how do I easily remove the thin layer of vitreous that's still stuck to the uh, retina? And I do this by injecting Kenalog, which is a steroid, but I use it to basically stain the vitreous. The steroid mixes very well with the vitreous gel, and as you can see here, I can kind of see where this transparent jelly is firmly attached to the back of the retina. Once I gently start, a, what I try to do is gently find a small place where a separation can occur, and then I enlarge this area of separation to create the posterior vitreous detachment. And you're going to see this occur right here. And then, there you go. I'm just pulling the vitreous gel off the surface of the retina. This is not actually tearing the retina. If you look very carefully, there is a concentric area outside of this white zone, which is actually the clear vitreous peeling away or separating uh, from the vitreous. I try very carefully to only pull in one direction, anterior or posterior, versus horizontally. This reduces the chance of creating tears. And now you can see how easy it is to remove kind of this residual vitreous. And for the rest of the video, what I'm going to show is just that I'm going to go around the eye, around the sides, removing as much vitreous as I can. This has become quite safe. It allows me to efficiently remove as much vitreous as possible during an operation for whatever cause, but in this case it's for removal of floaters or FOV. Whatever uh, kennel log or steroid that I don't uh, remove actively uh, during the operation will be dissolved and absorbed over the next day or so. So now I'm going to go around to the side or anterior vitreous to remove as much as I can. And then just at the end of the operation, I'm going to get that little nubbin of Kenalog, which is left sitting on the macula. Here I'm just going to the sides to clean up. We're almost done with the uh, case. This took less than probably 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to use some suction to remove that last little bit. And I guess that would be known as the premacula bursa. Anyway, I couldn't do this without my incredible OR staff. Many thanks to them as always. I hope to see you soon. Please visit my websites. Best of luck to you.